Hello my dear friends, this is a painting cat, my name is Catherine. Today we're going to paint uh, with acrylic again. I'm working on canvas 20-30 centimeters and I'm starting with Imprimatura. This is a demonstration tutorial, short one. If you're interested to paint with me in real time, welcome on my Patreon. Real time tutorials and all sketches you can find there. Imprimatura completely dry and next step I transferred a sketch. I already shared to you this way of transferring, kind of easy, I like it. And uh, next step, hmm, today I wanna create again a landscape with just a small number of uh, colors. Uh, we will take uh, black and white, it's a basic and uh, we need these colors uh, almost for each uh, painting we create. Um, and uh, three other colors I picked up today, it's a yellow medium, it's a carmine. Again, uh, these shades we already used on tutorial before, new one, it's tallow blue really really bright blue if you haven't this shade you can go for cobalt blue first uh, i mixed phthalo blue plus carmine and it's giving really beautiful blueberry color uh, but we don't looking for so juicy color if you will mix a bit of black in it you will see saturation will go down and if you will add plus white it's a beautiful shade of night sky i'm searching at the moment searching the proper colors uh, for this evening time i really want to create cozy uh, feeling in this uh, landscape it's a uh, christmas evening and on the uh, foreground we're gonna create christmas tree as well and uh, about this process how to search colors how to experiment with it uh, we're talking a lot in a, a real-time tutorial here you can see as soon as i understood as i found colors I like, I'm blending everything together with a big flat brush and the sky area is ready. Also very beautiful looking if we add a little bit of clear color with white following horizontal line. This time I picked up clear carmine plus a little bit of white and it's giving very beautiful pink cold pink light we're using so many brushes here uh, i'd say not too many but it's a different kinds of it uh, we're using flat brushes of course for imprimatura uh, for sky colors for, for blending but also uh, i like natural bristol brushes when you're working in a hot dry technique, uh, imagine you scratching canvas with an almost dry uh, paint. It's giving very nice effect, very light. And remember, we have underpainting layer, those really peachy warm tone, uh, and it's giving uh, those warm feeling to whole painting. Here I'm planning to create a really small and beautiful uh, building, small house. But important moment, this detail, tiny, uh, really small, but it's taking so much time and attention. So if you're planning to complete this painting fast, for example, if you want to create something uh, as a gift, painting as a gift, you will have to skip it because house will take at least 40 minutes to complete. 
small uh, windows, small window frames, roof and walls and we mixing different shades. So if you're not ready to spend a lot of time or you're not feeling confident enough to work with uh, very tiny objects on a painting, you are just a beginner, you can skip it and just go for Christmas tree. Uh, it's a possible to put here uh, one or two more trees or bushes on a background and that's it. I like small buildings, I think it's giving a really um, those cozy feeling that I'm looking for this uh, landscape. And the main steps here, I'm planning main shape of building, roof shape, walls and main colors first. And after I'm starting to work with um, small details. I'm moving for bigger details to smaller details and in the end we're just touching with some finishing um, brush strokes. As soon as it's just a demonstration uh, tutorial I wanna also uh, talk about uh, main color mixes here. If we're looking for shiny effect for warm light here uh, we have to pick up warm white i mean yes here we have lots of blue so any light color here any light shade looking as white but it's not so each time i'm picking white and putting it on my canvas this is a mix of white yellow medium and carmine so it's a very very light very gentle but cream color as soon as you will use just a clear white here you'll get a really cold light it's important to remember so each time you thinking what color i'm putting here as a light it's always so don't be lazy, uh, we're spending time to get those light cream on palette, but we have to do it because we're really creating Christmas light in this painting. I'm working, I'm going for big details to smaller and smaller on my building, on my house. Blending everything. I'm working with just a water here, no other uh, liquids I used, no retarder, nothing. Also, I'm not trying to, you know, to do my best to create a really sharp lines between light and the dark details on um, those buildings. It's not possible to understand a level of detailing you need to do until you will put all elements of compositions all together on a canvas. So first, of course, we will need to create also um, some of foreground Christmas tree and after it's possible to understand is uh, detailing on a middle ground enough or we need to do something else there we need to work on details better also on a full uh, version on a real-time tutorial i demonstrated uh, what to do if uh, you missed something for example here it was a small window i covered it uh, with a dark color to demonstrate how to possible to get back those shiny windows we have um, we all have different uh, skill level of skill so sometimes I know for beginners it's kind of hard to uh, reserve some uh, small areas for future details so if you can't um, reserve areas for windows it's also possible to create it later when walls done already with a darker color as for me i like to reserve some elements and i like to see those under painting uh, layer more because it's giving really really warm and beautiful highlight uh, from inside 
that's why we need imprimatur in our paintings. It's giving uh, a shine, it's giving a color. You can see now, uh, I have no white here and also I have no issue with a really dry canvas. If it's absolutely clear from the start, we have to cover well. But now I even sometimes I'm not rubbing in acrylic, rubbing in canvas. I don't need to do it because I already have layer of acrylic. Uh, we started with this step and now we have some benefits from it. Look, this light blue, so transparent. And it's so beautifully looking on those warm imprimatura layer. I'm blending just a little bit with my fingers to get some soft transitions, some soft gradients, and that's it. Don't try to cover imprimatura um, layer completely. Use half transparent acrylic. Better to use two or three half transparent layer, better to go this way, than to put just a very, very nice coverage layer here. As soon as I plant all spots uh, for snow here, I'm blending a bit with just a wet brush. Of course, acrylic uh, drying kind of fast, but uh, not you know, not in a moment you put it on a canvas. We'll always uh, have maybe 10-15 uh, minutes uh, more to blend color as later with a wet brush. Time for drying, it's so different. It depends uh, from the weather around you. As for me, weather here kind of cold now, so um, I noticed that um, now acrylic drying slower than I had it on a summer time. Next layer, it's again my favorite uh, natural bristle brush, not a big one, it's a small one. Uh, again, I'm drying with a dry brush technique, not lots of paint on my brush. If you notice like it's too big spots, you put on a canvas, that means actually two moments can be. Too uh, much water in your color mix or too much paint on a brush. Uh, to evade it, you can clean your brush a little bit or half clean with a napkin and try again. It need to feel, you know, like you're scratching a little bit canvas, like you're scratching, like you trying to put um, powder on your face, imagine, you will not getting really good coverage layer because it will look as a mask right on your face. So it's the same moment, half dry texture of paint and you like attaching very top layer of um, canvas. Next it's a snow for Christmas tree. And we starting not with white again. I know it's so uh, <laughs> it's so tricky not to use clear white to create a snow, uh, but this time it's um, kind of uh, middle shaded gray. And also I like to put blue. Yeah, it's not a green here. To give some color to Christmas tree. Mm, I'd say in evening time mm, our eyes taking a different colors from the objects. Lots of objects, no matter color, real color will look uh, in the darkness as a blue or gray. Uh, and here I don't like idea too many gray on the foreground. I like some really colors, you know. And uh, I picked up uh, phthalo blue plus a little bit of black. I started from the bottom of Christmas tree and as soon as, as I went uh, up, color was lighter and lighter and lighter on the shadow part. And let's 
create a white snow for Christmas tree. But take a look uh, on my palette. I'm again working with a creamy color, not clear white. Also, I'm blending with my finger because I really like how it's looking, kind of soft blending. Also, when you're working with a brush, um, paint's spreading mostly on a top layer when you're rubbing in a little bit into a canvas, like really going deeper in a canvas inside of the structure. Here now we have uh, all elements already added. It's a Christmas tree, it's a trees around, it's uh, the most of snow. And uh, now it's possible to understand what details we still missing here and how small house looking on a middle ground. Uh, by the way, I like how it's looking now, so uh, maybe some details need to correct a little bit. It's a, a fir tree there, also I'm missing uh, right now branches. For branches, for twigs, uh, we need to paint with a really long strokes. For smart choice, uh, would be a line brush. It's calling line brush, or um, it can be founded in uh, art stores as a one stroke brush. This kind of brush have a really really long bristle, and it's handle lots of color inside. So with the short brushes, possible to create just a short brush strokes. But with this kind of brushes, we're really able to create long lines, long branches, long twigs. Look how beautiful they're looking. Also, for very uh, foreground, I'm gonna paint not just uh, dark blue branches and twigs, but also um, a little bit of brown. We're not using any brown hair, no umber, no uh, sienna, nothing. Brown hair possible to get if you will mix carmine, yellow medium and a bit of black. As soon as we're using here a lot of uh, dry brush technique, I also demonstrating here very fast, but uh, in real time tutorial we talk more about it, how to deal with more watery color. See, uh, I spread it uh, more watery consistency with the fingers, so even if you can't catch consistency of half dry acrylic, this paint possible to complete with more watery consistency, but you will need to work more with tips of your fingers to rub it in um, canvas. The last step here is a Christmas tree decoration. It's up to you, my dear friends, really, we all have own taste about it. So many beautiful sets for this painting. I will go for pastel looking uh, decorative elements it's just a balls so it was a uh, clear clear colors plus white very beautiful I like it carmine plus white yellow medium plus white and uh, uh, tallow blue plus white of course and next step this is important step um, and again, in real time, we will talk more about it, how to create a really accurate looking snow. Try not to knock too many times and not too hard. When you're knocking with your brush on your finger, go really slow and accurate. If, if you feel like snow not dropping from your brush anymore, don't try to knock harder. Just go on a palette again, get the fresh white from there, watery white, and not gentle a little bit more. Don't try to cover everything with the snow just in one go. Other way, be more accurate. It's very finishing step. We're creating soft weather without any wind, so we're looking 
for a very very this is actual speed now look how slow i'm going almost no dots spreading i will better get one or two instead of too many but not accurate looking very very gently And the last, uh, <laughs> let's say very last detail here, it's a smoke. Half dry brush uh, again, and uh, it's very handy to control watery on your hand. Just spread a little bit of acrylic on your hand. It's very transparent, but not watery at all this way. Acrylic. Paints not toxic, so yes, we can have it on our skin for a short time and of course we will clean skin uh, when we will complete our painting. Don't forget to sign and uh, I want to share to you some idea. My kids like to do it. This way I will do it for you. It's a fingerprint as a shine around decorative elements on a Christmas tree. My kids like it, they like to put some small fingerprints helping to me when we creating our own Christmas trees. So it's just idea if you want to share some painting fun with your family. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have still uh, some questions, don't be shy to ask me here on the comments. Subscribe to me for more tutorials and painting ideas. You can follow me on a Patreon, uh, on a Facebook and Instagram as well. Don't forget to put a hashtag PaintyCat. I wish you Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. It was a painting cat. Bye bye.